Hello and welcome to this tutorial of the to-do list here on Maimon. Now, the to-do list, as the name suggests, really is just that. It is a list of to-dos. It shows all the applications where you still have to either accept or assign somebody. Now, head delegates, delegates and chairs have to be accepted and assigned, whereas observers and faculty advisors, they only have to be accepted. Now, let's have a look at what that might look like in detail. So we have our to-do list here, 211 assignments or acceptances to do, but don't worry, it's always just one or two clicks to sort everything out. We have a delegation application up top and a few delegates below. Now, let's firstly deal with Hila Hudson from Tanzania, um, a delegate who has not paid his fee yet, but we shall not bother with that for the moment. We can reject the application, but let's opt to accept it for now instead. And that shows us immediately then the preferences Hila has submitted with his application. And we see unfortunately that all spots that he suggested as preferences are taken. So we will do a custom assignment for him by selecting one of the committees here, NATO, and then how about Albania? Fantastic. Now watch this. Foop. The application has disappeared from our to-do list. Why? Well, because you have nothing to do with it anymore. It's accepted, it is assigned, you're pretty much really done with it. Now, you can always still find it if you go to your participants list, but you do not have to do anything with it in the to-do list anymore. Now, had you opted to not assign him because he has not paid yet, you could have literally just waited and you could have used one of our filters up here to make your assignment process more granular like that. So, but for now, we will turn our head to this delegation application up here. Now, with delegation applications, there is a little distinction we have to make, because if you remember, we had the option when we set our set up our applications to set the delegation, appli uh, delegation applications, uh, <laughs> applications to either a strong delegation or a weak delegation mode. Uh, or in other words, that delegation leaders assign or organizers assign. Now delegation leaders assign means we give this delegation as a whole, a whole bunch of assignments and they internally figure out um, who gets what. The other option would be that organizers assign. So the individual delegates potentially give us preferences and we assign them ourselves, right? But for now, we're gonna look at the first case where the delegation leaders make the final assignments and we only give them, those delegation leaders, a whole bunch of slots. We're gonna have to afterwards look at the other option where we as organizers would assign everything. But for now, let's firstly look at the delegation leader assignment. So let's go back to our to-do list. The uh, Club Alpin Français will be accepted for now. And now we already see assignments and members here. Now, let's click on our members list and see who already applied. We have one applicant here, it's up, ha, same guy as me, and we will happily accept him as our head delegate. You can't see him now anymore because you have nothing to do with him anymore. You can still go find him down here, but there's really nothing to do with this application of this delegate specifically anymore because you will give that whole delegation as a whole a few assignments and then the head delegate, in this case he himself, can figure out who gets what. Simple in this case, because so far only one person applied, but here on the left you can see, uh, Alex indicated that he's expecting six members to be part of his delegation. Now, as we switch to our assignments here, we now have the option to really give him all those six assignments already, or his delegation, those six assignments already, or to hold off a little bit and wait, and really only give him those further assignments once further members register. It's really up to you to decide how you want to manage that. Now, for now, let's just give him one because it's a bit simpler given this one slot of Argentina, I believe it was, in WTO and confirm and send that assignment. You see now the delegation application also disappeared from our screen and that means we are not done with it for now. If now a new member joins this delegation, it will once again bring this card onto our to-do list, right? Because we would have to interact with it again. We would have something to do, right? So you can really use this to-do list as the core of your, of, your, of your working with your conference 
and really deal with everything within a few clicks. Now let's transition now and look at a delegation application at a conference where However, you as an organizer make all the detailed assignments and not just give the delegation as a whole a whole bunch uh, of slots for them to assign internally. All right, so here we are again, but I changed my conference settings, my application settings to be precise, such that we are now in a mode where organizers make all the assignments even for individual delegation members and we don't just, as previously, give the delegation as a whole a block of assignments which they then sort out internally. We call this the weak delegation or organizer's assignment. Again, you can switch that here in this little wheel toggle. Now, let's go back to our to-do list and we see a delegation has applied which is called the weak test delegation. Okay, we do as previously, we accept it, done. And now it's a bit different, right? You might remember we had this switch between assignment and members. Here it's a bit simpler actually for us because we just have a list of delegates who have to be accepted or assigned and that's it. Now, we obviously want to accept and assign this person, Alex Cap, which is incidentally myself. Um, and well, let's have a look at his application. Okay, beautiful motivation letter. Hello, how are you? He has some preferences. He hasn't paid, but that's fine for us now um, because we know him. Um, so let's go ahead and accept his application. Great. So application has been accepted and now you see, we see immediately his individual preferences. And this is again, one difference between the strong and the weak delegation, where in the weak delegation mode or the organizer's assignment mode where we are right now, we can ask individual delegates to submit their assignment preferences. So delegation, individual delegation members. This does not happen when we have the sort of strong delegation or the organizer's assign mode, where only the head delegate provide or who yeah the head delegates provide uh, assignment preferences for their delegation as a whole. It is here, however, this organizer's assign or weak delegation mode, and Alex Cap has provided us with preferences, Ecosoc, Chile, IEA, and we're gonna assign him, and we're already done with this application. This is now disappeared from our list. And we are done with it. Simple as that. Now, if another member were to apply to um, this delegation, the card would come back to our to-do list because we would not be done with it. Now, what we always can do, just in case you want to deal with our with this um, dele application again, is we can search for it in our participant list because obviously it has disappeared from our to-do list. So it's it was called oh, weak test delegation. It was actually all the way here on the top, and we can have another look at it and see its members and manage everything about it. Super simple. Now, I hope you're gonna have a lot of fun managing your uh, assignments and your delegations. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out to us. See you soon.